Here's a clip from our podcast, the Club Ambition Podcast, a.k.a. Cap. They gonna love me for my ambition. We have Noriega from Drink Champs also going viral with this tweet Bye. talking about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. He says, I predict Kendrick and Drake squash it and eventually make one of the greatest hip-hop records of all time. Man. Noriega speaks on this. Clearly, he's been listening to what I've been saying. I think that this is possible. I think there's many possibilities. And I think this is one of them. Why? Because Kendrick Lamar, whether his fans want to admit <laughs> it or not, there is a sense of respect for what Drake has done in his career because that's why he sees him as a contemporary. He sees him as someone to battle against. Yeah. If he didn't give a fuck about him, he wouldn't even have responded or dissed him in the first place. He stepped up to the plate. He wanted to go and do the challenge, and he won, right? Drake, the same way. Drake responded. Not like us dropped. Won the battle. Drake still responded the day after. Now... It was some bullshit in a sense where it's like looking at it the retrospectively could have been way better, should have been a crazier record, but he did respond within 24 hours, right? He dropped the hard part six. So no matter what we want to say, there is a sense of respect for both of them as far as when they see where they see each other as people in hip hop in the industry. Now, what I will say is I feel like Drake did look down upon Kendrick Lamar when he was kind of little, trying to little bro him. You know, I feel like he tried to little bro him. And his responses, you can kind of tell. He literally said it in like one of the songs. You're, not, you're nowhere near the top five. Like, Travis got you wiped down. SZA got you wiped down. It's like, what are you mentioning SZA in a top five, top three conversation? We're talking about rap here, bro. But I guess he's like, oh, you're not as hot as them. They're bigger artists than you. What? Okay. He was looking down upon Kendrick. You Underestimated to say you're not him. the hottest person on your label. I think that was the yeah. when you brought up SZA. Underestimated him. And look what we got. Drake yeah. fucked up. But is there a future of them squashing it and making music? I think that there is. They have a mutual friend, J. Cole. J. Cole stepped out of the beef. That's a mutual friend that we know of. Can we name another? Maybe, maybe not. We thought YG... Mm, I don't know about YG no more, right? DeMar DeRozan. J. Cole has not been seen in a club dancing to Not Like Us. He's not been, you know, he didn't retweet any of the Drake songs. He's been on his neutral side. That nigga is riding a bike and on the beach. So, there is a future of this happening. There is a future of this happening. This is after Nori, this weekend, he interviewed Problem and DJ Quick. West Coast artists, and I'm pretty sure they covered the Drake and Kendrick beef. For him to say this after that interview, though, it might be very telling. Maybe he knows something behind the scenes. Yeah, maybe he heard something. You know. You think Drake's willing to put his pride to the side? He did it with Kanye. I think he. I think he would. You know why? That's a way to overcome the, the narrative of yeah. the pedophile shit. Yeah. Let's get past this. Yeah. You know, like I said, there's a way he can diss him back and just be like dissing him, but being like acknowledging the fact that he beat you. Yeah, yeah. I took that L, but whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I underestimated you. He could turn into a flyway where it won't come off like a bitch. Because him posting looks more bitches, bitchness, bitch, bitchy than him rather dissing him in a song or making mm -hmm. a song about it. He can make a hit record on some white flag shit. That's a hit record. Niggas will be like, damn, this nigga's good at what he does, though. But this Instagram caption is just going to keep people like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you trolling? Stop with the trolling. Is it going to happen anytime soon? I don't think so. I think it might be a year or two from now. I don't think it's going to happen this year. But it would be amazing. And it would be some of the best rap music probably ever. Or maybe not. Because Drake and Kanye got together and look what we got. They never so, made a song. Yes, they did. What song? On the fucking, uh, C is it on CLB? Or is that Drake and Cuddy? That's Drake and Kid Cudi. And Drake and Kid but they do have a song together. I forgot one album is on. Drake and Kanye. Yeah, no, yeah. He's trash. No, yeah. He's on um, he's on More Life. But that's, but that's, be, that's the be last time they that. made a song on together. More Life. Yeah, that nasty ass song. The Glow song. Yeah, oh, Glow. Watch out for me. I'm about to glow. Production's hard. Yeah. I fuck with it. Um, Terrible song. Not one of the greatest hip hop records of all time. And think, also, think, Kendrick and Drake have made some of the greatest hip hop records of all time. Poetic Justice. Um, you think they're gonna have a Jay Z and fucking problems? And Nas moment. 
I don't know, man. Didn't they make a song together to squash their beef? Yeah, they made on Black American. No, Black Republican. That's Black what Republican, it was. But then yeah. they also did that. Weren't they on the Ken, on, on God? No, not God did. They had another song that was like a posse cut, multiple people on it thinking Nas and Jay-Z. I might be wrong. But Black Republican wasn't even... It was kind of mid. It was a moment, though. But it was a moment. It was a moment. But we shall see. You know, if you guys had a, a, any odds, would you, would you guys bet on this happening? Uh, would you put your money on this? You go first. I've been said it. I've been said it. People say I'm crazy. You want to know why I think? Why? He did it with Kanye. That's it was this whole murder yeah. beef, the whole like... But then they fell yeah. off. But then hit, Kanye is also hit, you know, manic, manic, Ill, yeah. cut, hit the block, cut the lights, blah, 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 yeah. blah. Talking about pretty much body and his shit. And then they fell off again. Yeah. It's it's possible. And they did the whole only reason together. Only reason people don't think that is because of the fact that Kendrick Lamar is like... He's not Kanye. He doesn't have mental issues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like... But it'll happen. And that was a clip from our podcast, the Club Ambition podcast. Cap, if you're looking to watch the full episode, make sure to go check it out right now. It's available on audio and also on YouTube.